Hi, it's me Ali and today I read this awesome book on the history of pizza and I wanted to share some fun facts with you. So let's get started. We think of pizza as an Italian food and the word pizza means pie in Italian. But is pizza really from Italy? We know that people were eating pizza in Italian cities like Pompeii more than 2000 years ago. But believe it or not. Pisa was actually born somewhere else. Centuries earlier, the Greeks and Phoenicians mixed flour and water to make a simple dough for flatbread. They seasoned it with herbs and cooked the dough on a hot stone. Ancient Egyptians get the credit for adding yeast to bread, which made it rise up and easier to chew. They called it plancantus. It was used as a kind of edible plate for stews or broth. But we know that Persian soldiers baked flat bread on their shields and topped it with cheese and dates. Pizza may have started in the countries around the Mediterranean Sea, but one of its key ingredients, the tomato, came from about 7,000 miles away. Tomatoes are native to the Americans, known as the golden apple. Golden apple sounds like a nice name, but tomatoes were not received with open arms. Some people were suspicious of them because they were bright and shiny and grew so close to the ground. Other people became sick after eating them. The rumor that they were poisonous lasted for centuries. Pizza was popular for two important reasons. The first, that it tasted good. The second, that it was cheap. Street vendors kept the price down by cutting up the pizzas and selling them one slice at a time. For people who wanted to eat sitting down, the first pizzeria opened in Naples around 1830. Naples was filled with pizzerias. Most of the pizzas sold there was made in the marinara style. They were simply topped with tomato, garlic, oregano and olive oil. It was called Marinara, the name for a seaman's wife. Why? Because the fishermen's wives often prepared the dish for their husbands to eat when they returned home. In 1889, 1889 the Italian king Ambo I and his wife Queen Margarita visited Naples. Among its popular restaurants was owned by Rafael Esposito. It is said that in honor of the royal visit, Esposito made three pizzas for the queen. Two were already well-known recipes, but the third, which combined mozzarella cheese, basil and tomatoes, was something new. Together, the three ingredients matched the white, green and red of the Italian flag. The queen reportedly loved her pizza so much that Esposito decided to name it after her. That's why we call it Pizza Margarita. Pizza Hut opened its doors in 1958. And we swallow a lot of pizza. 94% of us eat pizza regularly, averaging about 7 and 1 half pizzas a year. That's about 350 slices of pizza per second. Enough to cover almost 100 acres every day. And a little bit more than a third of those acres are covered with pepperoni, America's favorite topping. That's it guys and hope you enjoyed this fun facts about pizza and until next time, goodbye.